Where are we? Outer Rem. Rem is existing. Grid L42. Scramble fire crews. Get a distress call to the nearest Imperial station. Aha! It, uh, there's an old munitions depot in this system, Captain. Run by a Colonel Grom. Must be our lucky day. Make the call. This isn't over, thank God. So, you jump to my territory, uninvited, then demand my supplies? Colonel Graal, the Starhawk project is within our grasp. All I need is repairs and proper munitions. No. The Emperor assigned me to this depot. I decide how its resources are used. As of this moment, that includes your Star Destroyer. Consider yourself reassigned. The Overseer was sent on this mission by Admiral Sloan herself. Admiral Sloan isn't here, Captain. I have rebel guerrillas to deal with. And now, so do you. Grom out. <laughs> He wants us to fight rebels. All right. We'll protect his depot. And if his munitions get lost in the crossfire, well, lucky for us. Ma'am, regulations specifically forbid this. I will not be beaten by vanguard, grandstanding imbeciles, or anyone else. Please, not judgment. It's just fine. Call in Titan Squadron. Now. Could we talk? Well, that could have gone better. I never expected that cobbled together battleship to be more dangerous than the Xavian Abyss. Those dockyard coordinates almost cost us the Overseer. Look at this place. The deck below is even worse. And did you hear? We're not being given the munitions we need to strike back. No wonder Captain Carroll's furious. We'll get through this. Think of Battle Group Echelon after the skirmish at Marisi. Supply lines cut, their Admiral's flagship captured. But they rallied. They fended off the enemy, made repairs in hostile territory, and launched a daring rescue. And when they were ready, they returned to crush the rebels under heel. There's always a way to win. The captain summoned us. Let's not test her patience. Local rebel forces are preparing to attack Colonel Graum's munitions depot. You'll patrol the area in preparation for the attack and keep the depot safe. Graum is a fool, but his assets belong to the Empire. Therefore, they belong to us. During your patrol, Titan III will secretly search the station, its freighters, and cargo shuttles for beradium. This explosive material will be a valuable tool against the Starhawk. Tag the Beradium, and LT-514 will retrieve it remotely. While Graum is kept busy by the rebel attack, escort the Beradium to the Overseer for safekeeping. According to the Colonel, these three towers hold large munition stockpiles and will be the rebels' priority targets. It's a powder keg. If we lose the towers, we lose the depot, and the Overseer will be defenseless. Remember, as long as repairs are still underway, we can't afford to engage the Republic. Secure the Viradium, halt the Rebel Assault, and then we can leave the Remetic system. You're on your own, Titan Squadron. Let's do this right. Why is it that small-minded officers are always the quickest to flaunt what little power they have? Grom can lord over this pathetic corner of the galaxy all he likes, but I will not allow him to jeopardize our mission. This depot has everything we need to annihilate the Starhawk. 
Grom may be an obstacle, but he's not our enemy. We will do our duty to protect Imperial assets. I owe you and the rest of Titan Squadron an apology. When the Overseer was attacked, I realized that everything I know about war is what I've read. I'm beginning to understand how it must feel in that cockpit under fire. Terrifying. Yet you and the others risk it every day. I took this assignment to learn. Clearly, I still have a long way to go. I know Colonel Grom is in the wrong, and yet seizing his munitions feels drastic. But Captain Carroll is entirely correct that Admiral Sloan's orders supersede Grom's, and we are committed. To work. There's much to do. It never fails. Bureaucratic bastards like Colonel Graham are always in the way. My brothers died on a rebel raid with the 181st that never should have happened. I blame the Imperial Senator, who pushed for that doomed mission just as much as I blame the rebels who fired the torpedoes. Pick any military disaster and you'll always find some bantha-brained bureaucrat was behind it. Captain Carroll is making the right call with this mission. Let's go. This routine is familiar. We've suffered. We're damaged. Broken, even. But it's not the end. Never is. Next steps are simple. We heal up, find Vanguard, then take revenge. The first crash was hardest. I had to relearn breathing, walking. Saw my cockpit in nightmares. Wasn't personal. The rebels shot me down. My wingmate returned fire. But pain is personal. My team deserved my best. The Empire demanded it. So step by step, I conquered pain. I rose, I flew, Nadiri's ahead, until, and, and, <coughs> until then, surviving is revenge. Let's fix this. Captain Carroll has assigned you a TIE Interceptor. This machine is built to cut down enemy fighters. And that's what you do best. Tower 
cruisers are operational. Don't let the rebels destroy all three. Nobody survives that chain reaction. Sounds like you speak from experience, Shen. Which I know you do. doesn't have the radio, but I'm detecting concussion missiles, heavy ion cannons, and plasma bombs as well. Think of what we could have accomplished at Endor with these supplies. Come on, Titan 3. Got a plan. During the Chabas incursion, our forces used Beridium, moved it with Zeta-class cargo shuttles. If Grom has Beridium, he might be doing the same. We use Beridium strikes to drive the Rills out of hiding at Jabez. Excellent. We'll secure the Beradium during the enemy raid.
Pilot Squadron, LT-514 will remote pilot the cargo ships to the Overseer. Titan, it's time. Escort the cargo shuttles to the Overseer. Grau won't notice a thing while he's under siege. You're welcome. Focus on the Beradium. We'll take care of one shuttle group. Titan 3 and I will handle the other. first. 
Let's fire on its turbo lasers. I'm under assault. Captain, I promise you that. 